What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon and welcome back to the channel Well Done Tanks. Today we are finally, finally going to put up our nano shelf. So I will be leaving a link up in the corner. This is the, the video of where I actually got the inspiration for this build and kind of where the wheels in my head started turning for this one. So today, in it, oh I'm sorry, that video is when we toured Jared Garner's fish room with H2O Aquarium Services. And he had this little five gallon, six gallon tank that was just, I kept going back to it. I kept focusing on it. And I, afterwards, like that drive home, I actually stopped and picked up a tank to do kind of my version of that. So super excited to get this going, but I wanted to do it in a way of a floating shelf. And I knew that I wanted it above the live streaming station. So I, <clears throat> today I moved the monitor down a couple inches to kind of give myself a little more room to work with. Just make everything more flush in here and uniform. But I wanted this on that DIY floating shelf. And the reason I can do this is that we're gonna be you know, using the studs of the wall, some heavy duty screws, but it's also gonna be the size of the tank. So I'll let you know that the, uh, this is the tank we're gonna be using. So Aquion kind of came out with a cool new tank that really kind of upped their game, is that they call them their rimless glass aquariums. But what's interesting is that the bottom still has that black trim attached to it, where, but the top doesn't. So it's very thin glass, and they got away with it in the way of that they just kept the trim on the bottom, but it still gives a unique look, right? Like this is gonna be up on the wall, so you can still kind of see the trim, but with that top rimless glass, it just really, really unique. So this is the 5.5 size, so things like five and a half gallons, but the dimensions are so cool. It's 16 inches long, eight inches wide by 10 inches high. So it's actually like 16 and a quarter long, um, almost eight and a half wide and it's 10 and a half tall. So really unique dimensions for the tank. And when I went and purchased this, uh, Petco is actually where I bought it from. And Petco is actually doing a 50% off sale on these tanks. <clears throat> and they have all different sizes from you know, cube tanks, standard tanks, these really unique tanks. And then you can also get them in packages that have like the glass lid, it has a light on it. So kind of everything to set up a really unique nano tank. So that's what I'm gonna be using for the tank for this build. And we'll do a whole other video coming up, actually getting into setting the tank up and getting, oh, I'm so excited for this one, I'm super excited for this one. But let's get into the shelf build. So I'm gonna be using just some standard, I think this is, they call it like birch, not birch, pine. Just some pine lumber that I bought from my local Home Depot. And I cut this to 24 inches long. So I did want a little bit of width on either side of this on the tank. But what's nice about this is it is nine and a quarter wide. So it gives us that wiggle room we needed uh, for the width of the tank. But then overall, this wood is three quarter inches thick. Ooh, dusty. So that's where I say, I'm not worried about the weight of the tank on this shelf. That's also because as we mount this up on the wall, we're gonna have metal brackets actually sit underneath this to support the weight. So I'm planning on two metal brackets drilled into each stud. And with that amount of support, we're gonna be fine. This tank isn't gonna weigh that much. So I, this should, I have no worries, no concerns about this supporting the weight. But I'm sure many people are gonna think I'm crazy, but this is why I wouldn't go above like a nano tank doing this. Um, if you want to see a really unique floating tank though, check out Reef Dudes, uh, Devin with Reef Dudes. He helped a buddy put up a 75 gallon tank floating on a wall. Super cool, but they did some outrageous support on that thing. So I wanted to show an option and I really wanted to do an option if you wanted to float a nano tank per se. So let's go ahead and get this board prepped for that and actually get the brackets up and installed. So for actually prepping this board, um, I knew I just wanted to just put some stain down on it, nothing crazy. And I already had some uh, Verithane wood stain. It's just the espresso color. Wasn't picky on the color, but I knew that I just wanted to stain it nonetheless. Just protect the wood, make it look a little nicer as it's up on the wall, a little more natural. So we're simply just gonna use just a simple rag and just wipe some stain on, let it dry, and we'll get it installed up on the wall.
looks good. So I say, I just wasn't picky about the color. It's something I already had on hand. I just wanted to darken the wood up a little bit, bring out some of the grain. And I'm not gonna do you know a lot of coats. I'm gonna leave the skin to do the one coat. We're gonna let it dry. I may put a clear coat over it just to help seal it and protect it. But if nothing else, the stains is gonna make the wood look good and seal the wood up a little bit, but just kind of blend it in with the room. So we're gonna let this dry and then I will show you how we're actually going to then install the brackets and finish off the shelf. So now that we've got the shelf um, stained, ready to go, I wanna show you how we're actually going to mount the shelf to the wall. And my wife actually gave me this idea. She's built some decorative shelves up in our kitchen with this. They look nice and it's gonna hold a lot of weight. So we're gonna be using these metal pipes. I, geez, somebody's probably gonna tell me in the comments like what they're really used for. It's one of those Pinterest things probably, but there's a base plate. So this base plate is actually gonna be attached to the wall. And I'm gonna be using drywall screws as only the top and the bottom screws are actually gonna be able to fit on the stud. But then the other two screws on the sides will still offer support. A piece of pipe is gonna come out of that wall. And you're simply just gonna use some, uh, some pipe clamps up underneath to attach the shelf to. So when you're doing this into the wall, you wanna make sure you have, you mark your studs, have a long enough screw that's gonna hold that weight, but then you also need to have screws when you go underneath to attach the pipe clamps to it, that you're not gonna drill all the way through your shelf. So I'm gonna hurry and go ahead and get these set up on and we'll show you the finished product. And there we have it. The tank is up. I think it looks pretty good actually, right? It's, I probably could have gone a little lower if I thought more about it, but I still wanted to have room underneath to make sure I can manipulate my monitor the way I need it to. <clears throat> but I also did want this tank eye level is I really wanted to enjoy the scape of it, the fish we're gonna put in here. So I have all the plans already for this tank. I know what I'm gonna do. Um, and thank you again to uh, Jared. Make sure to check out H2O Aquarium Services on Instagram. <clears throat> Um, he's doing great things for the hobby in northern Utah, but he also provided me with a lot of the plants that are actually going to go into this tank. So super excited to get this going. And I, I'm in love with this. So again, this is the simple DIY floating shelf for a nano aquarium. So really quick though, we did use, see if I can pull you in a little closer. We used the metal brackets underneath here. So this is again, a simple piece of wood we stained. Use some metal brackets underneath here and just some pipe clamps just up underneath with some screws and it's in and because we hit the studs guys like this is this whole thing is really really sturdy um i don't have an exact like weight rating on this but i think each screw is weighted to hold between 30 and 50 pounds and then you hit that with two screws into the stud so four screws total the you know strength of the pipe the strength of the wood this tank isn't going anywhere so Again, it's only a five and a half gallon tank and I just, guys, I'm in love with this. Gosh, I'm so happy the way this came out. So my wife was very generous and helped me get the pipes up, make sure that everything was level. And she was the genius behind this kind of floating shelf. So guys, if you wanna make sure you keep following this build, we're gonna do some really cool stuff on this one. Again, Jared really hooked us up with some of the best plants that I have. So thank you for joining me. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification bell. You're, you're, I think people are going to be really happy with what we're doing with this tank. But leave me a comment down below. What's your favorite size of nano tank? What's your favorite nano fish? Have you done a floating shelf before? So tell me something. And again, we'll see you guys in the next one.